Geophagy is the consumption of soil, ground up rock, termite mound earth, clay, and dirt. And what I want to focus on specifically in this definition is the consumption of clay. Now this might seem a little strange <laughs> to some, the consumption of earth and clay in particular. Why? Why would you eat earth and why would you eat clay? Well, clay is an extremely effective medicine. And it's especially efficient at removing toxins from our body and from the environment, and thereby increasing our overall health and vitality. Geophagy and the consumption of clay in particular have been a part of human history for thousands and thousands of years. Out of the surveyed indigenous cultures, just about every single one of them has been documented to consume clay as a regular part of their diet. And that is because clay has an amazing ability to be a medicine and to be a detoxifier. For example, the members of the Otomic tribe along the Oroco Valley in South America have been documented to consume large amounts of clay, sometimes up to a pound at a time. And these indigenous cultures and even modern users use clay to detoxify and to detoxify the foods that they eat. So clay is also used in food preparation. For example, Indians of the American Southwest use clay when they harvest their wild potatoes. They mix it together and the clay actually removes the toxic alkaloids in the potatoes. So they are more or less making an inedible food edible, a very creative use of the clay and the use of the ability of this clay to remove toxins. Along with human use of clay and geophagy, Geophagy and consumption of clay is ubiquitous in the animal kingdom. Animals do eat earth to get trace minerals, but a lot of modern evidence is suggesting that these animals are self-medicating using clay. For example, mountain gorillas in Rwanda and chimpanzees in Tanzania both have been documented to consume earth with large quantities of clay when they are experiencing diarrhea from their diets. A lot of plants have secondary plant compounds, and sometimes these compounds are toxic. It's an evolutionary strategy that they have evolved to deter herbivores from eating all of the plant matter. So when they are experiencing this diarrhea, they eat the earth with large amounts of clay. And this clay is helping remove these toxins and stop the diarrhea, because diarrhea is a natural response of our body to remove toxins. So since they're having diarrhea, we know that they have toxins in their body, and then they eat the clay, and then the clay alleviates the symptoms of diarrhea. So it shows that it's helping remove these toxins and to soothe the problems that they're having. And what's very interesting is that the type of clay that these gorillas and chimpanzees are eating is very similar to the principal ingredient that was used to make chiopectate, which is a pharmaceutical commonly used to soothe human gastric ailments, including diarrhea. Very interesting and more than coincidental, I think. There's a lot of research and a lot of, lot of evidence of the animal kingdom using clay and geophagy for medicine. I'm gonna post some more examples below. Check them out if you're interested. So why clay? What's so special about clay? Why does clay remove these toxins from our body? Well, clay has a very distinct ability to absorb toxins. And it's not absorb with a B, but it's adsorb with a D. And when something adsorbs, it sticks to its molecular structure rather than becoming integrated. When something absorbs with a B, that's when it becomes integrated into its molecular structure. So the clay goes down the digestive tract, but our body does not absorb the clay. We don't digest it, but the clay adsorbs these toxins. A lot of times clay is negatively charged and very often toxins are positively charged, so we can see how this binding occurs. And then once the binding has occurred, the clay continues to move through our digest digestive system and then is released via the feces, and we are that much cleaner of these toxins. So clays can bind various, various toxins. Um, they can bind heavy metals, man-made chemicals. They can remove radioactive isotopes that have been caused by radiation. And this is very important because radiation is increasing and increasing. You see, toxins have been around forever, and definitely as long as humans have been here, but the levels of toxins seem to be going up. 
So I feel like it's more and more important to integrate detoxifying practices such as geophagy into our life. Our ancestors did it. They knew. They knew it was up. They were smart, but we got a little out of touch with the, the wisdom of nature, but I believe that we are going back and using these practices, I believe, will help us live a more vibrant life. An interesting study I found showed that when rats ate paraquat, which is a very poisonous but very commonly used herbicide, they search for Montmorillonite clay. And if they don't get this clay, they can't survive. So this also shows that clay can help us remove these more modern toxins such as pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides from our body. And the type of clay that I consume is called bentonite clay. And what's interesting is it is this is made out of volcanic ash minerals called Montmorillonite. That's what those rats are eating to remove the herbicides and water. Natural clay, it's very healthy, it's very safe, and it's very effective at removing toxins, and it's readily available. You can get it at almost any health food store, and it's pretty cheap. So if you're interested, I definitely check it out. I encourage you to do your own research as well. Like always, I just wanted to share this information with you because it's just very interesting. It's seemingly taboo and strange, but when we take a step back and look at our history and we look into nature, we can see that it's actually common sense. It makes a lot of sense and it's very effective. So thank you for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day and never forget to nurture yourself with nature. Take care.